Hello friends and welcome to Studio Classroom. Thank you for joining us for our lesson today. My name is Anne Marie. And my name is John. Friends, today is a great day to learn something new. So let's do that together. It's also a great day to start off with a question. Here it is, your talk about it question from your magazine. What kind of protein do you typically eat? Oh, wow. Okay, we'll learn a lot about protein today. A good source of protein is meat. I love fried chicken, but when I was a kid, I would eat a lot of peanut butter. Do you know peanut butter has pretty good protein? It certainly does. My favorite place to get my protein is from beans and chickpeas. It is absolutely my favorite source of protein. Pretty cool. Well, there are a lot of sources of protein. Today we're talking about something called a high protein diet. What is that? We're going to find out. So let's get right into our first reading of the day. A high protein diet. How much is too much? News regarding nutrition and diet evolves over time so it can be hard to keep up with. This is especially true in the area of weight loss. One thing many people who want to drop a few pounds choose is a diet high in protein, which is an essential component of a healthy diet. The word comes from the Greek word protos, which means first. Proteins, of which as many as 100,000 can be found in the typical human cell, are crucial for some of the body's functions. Hi everyone, welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. evolve. 意思是使逐步发展、逐步演化。例如, as technology continues to evolve, new solutions to old problems are constantly emerging. 随着技术的不断发展,解决老问题的新方案也不断推陈出新。或是, the artist's style has evolved over time, becoming bolder and more colorful. 随着时间的推移,这位艺术家的画风变得更大胆,用色更丰富。Evolve的名词是 evolution. 譬如, the evolution of artificial intelligence is constantly raising new ethical questions. 人工智能的发展不断引发新的伦理问题。All right, friends, let's talk about a high protein diet. Now, John, before we start, we have to talk about the two different meanings of this word diet. Okay, let's do it. First of all, a high protein diet here has a specific definition, and that is a special course of food with mostly meats or other sources of protein. That's the high protein diet, like a specific kind of eating pattern, but there's another use of, for diet. Exactly. So the way that John just defined it means that it's a certain type of thing that you eat. So you could have all different types of diets, like a high carb diet, a low fat diet, a keto diet, but you might be more familiar with the other use of this word, to go on a diet. If someone goes on a diet or is on a diet, it means that they are reducing the amount of food that they are eating. That's right. So going on a diet is sometimes a way to get more healthy. Also, we use the word diet sometimes with soda that has artificial sugar, right? That's called diet soda. Exactly. So keep in mind here, as we go through our lesson, you will hear both of these definitions of this word used. But for our title, High Protein Diet, we're talking about a very specific way of eating. Okay, so let's start with the question in our text, how much is too much? Well, we read that news regarding nutrition and diet 
evolves over time. That means it changes. So it can be hard to keep up with. To keep up with for information means to continue to be informed about a topic. So you can keep up with the news or yeah. So if you keep up with something, it means that you maintain the same level as that other thing, like information. You could also keep up with things in other ways as well. For example, the reason I exercise is so that I can keep up with my kids. I want to have as much energy as they do. We read on here. This is especially true in the era area of weight loss. Let's talk about this for a moment. Okay, weight loss is something you'll read about all the times. Now, we're not saying that anybody needs to lose weight, but weight loss just means decrease in body weight. Sometimes it can be healthy, sometimes it can be unhealthy. And we read here that uh, one thing many people who want to drop a few pounds choose is a diet high in protein. Okay, we have a few interesting phrases in there. That's right. So we are talking about protein here. And John, do you have a definition for this word protein? Um, yes. Okay. Protein is, get ready, an organic compound, so something natural, part of living organisms that contains amino acids and is often used to create the structure of the organism. So that just means it's something in plants and animals. It helps them have strength and have their shape. And it's got this thing called amino acids that your body needs to make its own muscles, bones, and structures. That's right, and protein is an essential component of a healthy diet or healthy way of eating. You have to have protein to stay alive. The word comes from the Greek word protos, which means first. Proteins, of which as many as 100,000, can be found in the typical human cell. They are crucial for some of the body's function. So if something is crucial, it means that it's important, right? Definitely, you really can't do anything without it. I'm pretty sure we've seen this word before. So you can say, it's absolutely crucial that you study for this test. Well, now we know about proteins. We know that there are a lot of them in our cells. We'll have to learn more about the typical protein diet in the next section of the reading. A high protein diet. A typical diet advises a person to get about 10 to 30 percent of their daily calories from protein, 45 to 65 percent from carbohydrates, carbs, and 25 to 35 percent from fat. However, a high protein diet entails replacing most or all carbs with protein. If you decide to go on a high protein diet, Choose your protein carefully. One rule of thumb is to stay away from processed meats and eat lean beef and chicken, nuts, beans, fish, and low-fat dairy products. entail. 意思是使必要或牵涉。例如, moving to a new city entails adjusting to a different way of life. 搬到一个新城市必然要适应不同的生活方式。或是, while the job offer sounds good, it entails long hours and a great deal of travel. 这份工作听起来虽然不错,但必须长时间工作,且需要大量的出差。或是, Learning a new language entails dedication and constant practice, but the rewards are worth it. 学习一门新语言必须全心投入和不断的练习,但是它的回报是值得的。All right, let's keep reading here, friends. A typical diet advises a person to get about 10 to 30 percent of their daily calories from protein. Let's talk about this idea of daily calories. Okay, your daily calories means the amount of energy that you take in during a day. Uh, protein has calories, fat has calories, and then these things called carbohydrates uh, also have calories. So we read that not only protein, but 45 to 65 percent from carbohydrates. So that means that 
about 45 to 65% of your daily calories should come from what we call carbs. And those are simple things like uh, breads and pastas and rice. They all have these simple sugars that your body really needs to produce energy. That's right, and carbs are what give you energy to live and be active, but a lot of times if you eat too many carbs, they are also what make you gain weight. So we're also talking about fat, calories from fat here as well, which should be 25 to 35% of your diet. Okay, so normally it's 10 to 30% of daily ca uh, calorie intake from protein, however, a high protein diet entails replacing most or all carbs with protein. So that means we're going from 10 to 30% to up to maybe 80 or 90% of your calories coming from protein. Wow, so you're going to have to change the way you eat. Well, why and are there any problems? Let's read on, we, we read here, if you decide to go on a high protein diet, choose your protein carefully. One rule of thumb is to stay away from processed meats and eat lean beef and chicken, nuts, beans, fish, and low fat dairy products. Okay, let's talk about that list in a second, but what in the world does rule of thumb mean? Well, a rule of thumb is a broadly accurate guide or a principle that's based on practice rather than theory. So mm. what that means is that this isn't just a good idea, it means that this is kind of a tried and true method and it's usually something that most people know or it's a simple rule that everyone can follow. You know what, I remember sometimes in building, guys would use their thumb to measure what an inch is and they're not real. it's not a really specific rule. But I think that where the, that's where that comes from. You measure things with your thumb. Um, there's also a term here, processed meats. What are processed meats? All right, well processed food in general is any food that has changed from its natural form. So guys, we're talking about hot dogs, we're talking about sausage, we're talking about salami. These are all processed meats. They're not really good for you. You know, it's too bad that they're not good for you because they can taste great. Pepperoni pizza is one of my favorite uses of processed meats, but it's not that, that healthy. Uh, our article here says it's better to eat lean. So what is lean? Well, lean is the idea that something is not only thin, but doesn't have a lot of fat on it. So you could become lean by exercising a lot, but it also means you don't have a ton of muscle on you as well. So a lot of times runners will be lean because they are in really good shape, but they also don't have very big body masses. I see, so lean meats like lean beef and chicken um, would have less fats than like a high fat version of the beef. Chicken is a pretty lean meat. Well, there's a lot of other things on our list there. Nuts, beans, fish, and low fat dairy products. I, I definitely prefer milk that's whole fat milk, but in the States we drank a lot of skim milk mm, in my family. Okay. I like to eat Greek yogurt if I'm going to get my protein from dairy. All right, friends, we have more to talk about in just a moment right after today's Info Cloud. Hello, friends. Welcome to Info Cloud. Hey, Rex, do you know our intern, Mary? She is doing a really good job at the office. She worked for two nights straight just to get all the scripts and schedules right. She's tough as nails. I heard you used to be tough as nails when you were younger. Well, a little bit. I will work all night at the office just to edit a video. Over the years, I have learned to work smarter. When someone is tough as nails, it implies that they are mentally tough and have very strong willpower when they are trying to achieve a goal. Just like steel, nails that cannot be bent easily, a person who is tough as nails doesn't change their mind or give up easily when they are trying to achieve something. Would you say our founder Doris was tough as nails when she first arrived in Asia more than 70 years ago? Yes, indeed. Back then when everyone was trying to move to the US for a better life, Doris did the opposite and moved to Asia and started Studio Classroom. Well, friends, we need you to be tough as nails when you are going through challenges while learning English. 
We believe anyone can learn to speak English well when they put in the effort and never give up. 当一个人在追求目标的时候，表现出坚韧不拔的精神，你可以用今天分享的用语 “tough as nails” 来形容它。Nail 是钉子 ，tough 有坚强的含义。Tough as nails 就是像钉子一样硬，不会轻易的弯曲，可以表达坚毅的性格。Nate is tough as nails working in the law firm. Nate 在律师事务所工作时表现的非常坚毅。基本上 ，tough as nails 听起来比较强烈，但用来形容一个人也算是正面的评价。这就是今天的 Info Cloud， 我们下次云端见。A high protein diet. Although some diets call for cutting out carbohydrates altogether. Keep some carbs that are high in fiber and nutrients, such as whole grains, vegetables, and fruit. There are benefits to a high-protein diet. Some types of proteins, like salmon, also provide a healthy fat. Digestion of protein requires your body to work hard, so you'll also burn more calories when eating it. Fiber Everyone needs to eat more fiber so they remain healthy. 每个人都需要多摄取纤维以保持健康。或是 Amy is looking for a comfortable sweater made from natural fibers like cotton or wool. Amy 正在找一件用棉花或羊毛等天然纤维制成的舒适毛衣，或者是 The new internet connection uses fiber optic cables for fast data transfer. 新的网络连线使用光纤电缆来快速传输资料。最后来看名词 digestion， 意思是消化，譬如。I should add more high-fiber food like beans to my diet for better digestion. 我应该在饮食中增加更多像是豆类的高纤维食物，以促进消化。或是 drinking plenty of water after a large meal helps with digestion. 大餐后多喝水有助于消化。Digestion 的动词是 digest， 例如。Sarah ate a light lunch so her body could easily digest it before her afternoon workout. Sarah 吃了一顿简单的午餐，这样在下午运动前，身体才能够轻松的消化。All right, friends, we've got some interesting things to talk about in this next section. Although some diets call for cutting out carbohydrates altogether. Keep some carbs that are high in fiber and nutrients, such as whole grains, vegetables, and fruit. Carbs are essential. You have to have carbs to have energy. So we read here that some people say, though, that you should cut them out. What do we mean by this, John? If you cut something out, it means you get rid of it. You know, sometimes in English we'll just yell this by itself: "Cut it out." That means、uh, stop doing it. But here we're talking about removing a part of something. So removing a part of your diet. Exactly. So, for example, you could cut out caffeine or cut out coffee if you're trying to reduce your anxiety. All right. But we keep reading here. We also see this word nutrients. Let's talk about that for a moment. Okay. Nutrients are great. Nutrients. Are、uh, parts of the food that your body needs. They give you nutrition or a healthy nourishment for your body. So nutrients such as whole grains, vegetables, and fruit. The, or excuse me, whole grains, vegetables, and fruit have a lot of nutrients. So with any diet, just be really careful and、uh, don't be too extreme. We also read that there are benefits of a high protein diet. There are so we read here. There are benefits to a high protein diet. Some types of proteins, like salmon, also provide a healthy fat. Now, this is a great thing to do, friends, if you are trying to get at least one source of a nutrient from 
some type of food, if that food type can also provide something else for you as well. So here's an example. Salmon provides the protein that you need, but it also provides that healthy fat that your body needs as well. You know, one of my very favorite foods is salmon sashimi. It just looks so beautiful and it has a lot of beautiful fat in there. So my wife and I love fatty salmon and it is delicious. So maybe, maybe I should just switch to eating like a polar bear and only eating salmon. I don't think that that would necessarily be super healthy <laughs> either. Usually if you just eat one or two things for a diet, that diet is first of all not very healthy and second of all not very sustainable. Uh, well, I'll try it. I'll let you know how it, <laughs> okay, I'll let you you know how know. it goes. Um, well, friends, uh, last of all, we read a, a pretty interesting fact, huh? Digestion of protein requires your body to work hard so you'll also burn more calories while, when eating it. Interesting. This is hmm. really interesting. I guess for some people, um, struggling to digest things is a good thing. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the point here is that burning calories can be a good thing if you're on this diet because you want to focus on weight loss, which might not be for everyone. But there are a lot of different verbs that we use with calories. As you see in our article, you could burn calories. Um, if you are trying to lose weight, you might be reducing your calories or taking in less calories. And also, a lot of people count calories. What does it mean if someone counts calories? Oh, counting your calories is when you keep track of how much you've eaten and you think about it. So I would encourage people, don't stress too much about counting the calories. Just find a lifestyle that's active and be careful what you eat. There's more to do than just eating. We've gotta all be careful that we don't eat the wrong things. Well, friends, there's a lot more to talk about with this really interesting topic. Let's think more about proteins in tomorrow's lesson, but for now, it's time for our fun fact. Ah, hello, fact friends. I am Detective Ernest Finder, and I have a fun fact for you today. Did you know that uh, seaweed is a good source of protein? It's true. You know, seaweed, it grows in the ocean like a weed. Uh, to get enough protein from seaweed, though, you need to eat a lot of seaweed. <laughs> I have some seaweed ice cream here. I'm going to be so strong. And that is today's fun fact. Friends, are you ready for a quiz? Yeah, I am. You are? Okay, put your notes down then. Friends, put away your magazines. Here's the quiz for today. A high protein diet blank replacing most carbs with protein. A high protein diet explores replacing most carbs with protein, entails replacing most carbs with protein, or excludes replacing most carbs with protein. Oh, I remember this word because it was hard. A high protein diet entails replacing most carbs with protein, right? That's exactly right. So what this diet is all about is taking the calories that you usually get from your carbs and replacing them with calories that you get from protein. Friends, this is a really interesting topic and we're definitely not done talking about it. We'll learn more about a high protein diet and its pros and cons in tomorrow's lesson. Make sure you come back and join us right here on Studio, Studio Classroom. Classroom. A friend trusts at all times A good friend lasts a lifetime A friend gives at all times A friend cares at all times A friend endures at all times A good friend lasts a lifetime I am so proud to have you in my life A good friend lasts a lifetime